Tails is cold. It is hits. We're going to bed first. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for that lovely introduction, Vinny Sandu. Here comes Team Romania in the uh, yellow strip. Sure, they're looking for a better day today. Zero and two so far. Here we go. Ball one, day two, Group D. And he cloths it straight to mid on, and they'll go through for a quick single. Not the most powerful throw in, as he doesn't fully extend his arm. So just the one run to open up proceedings here. High in the air. This should be out. And it, yeah, it's out. He holds on to it in the end, and it's the young man. Well, what a nice moment that is for him. It's a splice drive, and Marian Gurusum, well, I believe he's only 15 years old. 16, my apologies. And what a good catch from the young man from Romania. It's a loose-looking shot. It balloons up, and this is a bit of a hot spot in T10 cricket. Short third, and, yeah, it does well to hold on to it, though. Spliced again, and this time it finds a hole, and that will go away for four, I imagine. Yeah, it does. Great effort from the young man who took the catch earlier. Yeah, anyway, let's go with the next ball, which is going to be whipped away, and this is going to go all the way. What a shot that is. Maximo. Not so always easy for them to sort it out, and this will be sorted out at mid-on by Mishra, and so Moyes gets the wicket of Nazir and one of the world's longest overs, but he does get his man in the end, Nazir. Just missed times one, and that's the game. Mid-on in the circle, because it is the power play. So now both openers have been removed, and Switzerland 17 for two after two overs. Gets driven, and this is over the top of Saini Maximo. Of catching that one. Takes it on again this time. Another diving fielder, but another boundary. Gone, and now he's knocked over. Might have been a little bit of an inside edge, so Sin hit every one but one. And this is a good bit of bowling from Mishra, who sticks to his task. And so the third wicket falls in the power plate. Romania, they move another dangerous striker. The score, 27 for three. With his left arm spin. Late, late cut. Shot. Very late, but it's right on time for the batting team as Vinod gets off the mark with four. Well, this is short, and this is... Hoyt away, and that's going to go all the way. Maximo. Something similar again. This time the field is closer, but not close enough. This will be four runs. This time he goes with it. Should get a wicket here. Signy doesn't drop too many catches. He doesn't drop this. And so that's a really good over. And talk about your momentum swings. Abdul as if just saunters into Spain and rough. Just reels off a bunch of dot balls and then draws the four, false shot out of Vinod, who was up and going before that. He'll go for the, just the 15 here in match six. Gone, and now Coley breaks through. Oh, he's not just good looking, it's good bowling too from Manmi, and he goes straight through Mahmood for a globe. And Switzerland in some trouble on day two so far. It's 45 for five. Last ball of the over, and there's the boundary they needed, and it's a pretty good one. It's banged straight and long by Hussain. Maximo! This is banked for six. Take that. Narayanan has woken up and he's woken the scorers up and almost joins them in the scorers box. Maximo time. And this is going to be dragged out. A one bouncer to Mishra to finish the over. Or maybe two. Smart running. I like that from Switzerland. So often we see batters going to sleep and running way through on an easy run. And at the end of the over, it will be 70 for five after eight. Vinny, while we talk about rules and... Yeah, good match awareness from these two and changing the game a bit. Now, I've come up with one that I want you to really consider. Hit down the ground and hit out of the ground. Maximo! Stand still this time. Goes very high. This is catchable for Moyes. Has to come all the way into the circle and catches it. Well, it's a bit of an ice cream cone from Moyes. And he looks like he could knock over a scoop or two. But this time, he does hold on to it. So... Bit too fancy by half for Hussein in the end. He's going to have to go. And end of a good partnership that gets Switzerland back on track to some degree. It's 81 for six. So this is going to be four. Just a bit of length here. New batter comes out of Marty and doesn't waste any time. And they drag themselves into the 90s. Yep, that'll do it. As Narayanan smacks it into Killer Python territory. Maximo. Last ball time. It's a low full toss. And this is muscled out of the ground as well. Sainer 
Hands up, going back to back. Maximos rolls the dice, comes up double sixes and drags the Swiss up to 98. The target will be 99 for Romania. Vasu looks pensively at the grass. Umpire says play. Here we go. Oh, it's almost... Oh, unbelievable. Oh, well, this is the most controversial run out of all time. Well, do they uphold the appeal? Hits the umpire and goes to the stump. Surely the captain doesn't appeal. That's out. I don't know. No, you don't that, appeal. Well, I don't know. Surely not. I mean, it's a 50-50. I mean, it almost goes off the stubs of the umpire, <laughs> which would have still been out because he'd already touched it. This is an incredible piece. We've never seen anything like this before. Oh, and he holds the appeal. Tyrone Peters just went and spoke to the captain, and the captain said, you betcha, that's out. Yeah, so Moyes is going to be run out first ball. You're on that right now. Well, hold on. We're going to have another wicket. <laughs> no, oh. we won't. It doesn't carry. No, the, you oh, are three. number one. Okay, I've got one for the you. The lie detector year, determined I... that was a lie. You don't appeal on that. You <laughs> just don't appeal on that. You never do. How You say never. It's never happened before. I'm disappointed. So don't say never. Also have a problem with them doing that. This one could be out. You know, it's a simple catch and it's taken. Well, here's the thing. The universe works in mysterious ways. Okay, and... Uh, Right now, Switzerland have caught a break, and now they catch Manan. He can't do too much here as Romania lose a second wicket in only the second over. It's five for two. And this is going to be four to start the over. Now this is in the air. It's holding up for an easy catch as Jason yeah. takes it. And so Nata Godler four and out, and trouble for Romania in the power play. They've also lost three wickets in it. Just like Switzerland did earlier in the match. It's 12 for three. Yeah. Challenging times we live in. This yeah. is gone as well. And it's going to be a first baller for Sathiesen. And right now, well, one needs security up to the box. Is Corey not happy? And neither will the Romanian captain be. As they've lost two wickets in two balls. And suddenly Vinod's on a hat trick. That's from Vinod, two for seven. And in the power play now, it's 12 for four. Here's the hat trick ball. Yeah, it won't be a hat-trick, it'll be a four. Nice shot by Saini. Or maybe he's the man to get them out of trouble here. And a good start to his innings. Cuatro Carreras. Edged and gone. And now Takua becomes the fifth victim in a horror start for Romania. Well, it seems the cricket gods are against them so far in this ECC. Just flirts with that ball from Fletcher. It's on a heavy length. And the keeper, Narayanan, does the rest. Romania now 20 for five. That's life. In the air, Canado catches it, and his innings goes from bad to worse. Now it's up to Lucif, who's a strong striker of the ball. He holds out, and at the end of five overs, Romania have lost six wickets now. Oh, shot. Up in the air. This is a teaser for the field. It goes a long way. Can't get there. Maximo. Awesome. Anyway, this is in the air, and this will be out as well. And so, uh, Romania, you stop bashing that table, please, every time there's a wicket. Anish Kumar takes this one. Jason takes the wicket, and Romania now 36 for seven. Yeah, 36 for seven. It's all falling off. It's as if Romania are playing 13 players out there, isn't it, Vinny? <laughs> this innings is that is absolutely mode. Well, tell you what, put it in my half, and man meet Coley gets over the ropes. This is going to be one bounce four. So brings up the 50. There's some fight left in the Romanians. Up. Back to the action. <laughs> well, in a whole big, thick inside edge. And that'll go for four. Tell you what, Romania, who have had 13 people against them, they're coming back. Shot. Matt. Yeah, that'll do. And there's four. Well, don't count them out just yet. They probably need something magical from here. Oh, that's a good shot, Vinny. One bounce, four. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a whole lot of man meat at the crease at the moment. Slower ball, big swing, shot. and this will get over the fielder. It'll go to the boundary for four run. Shot. There you go, that's his yeah, zone now. Good batting man meat, that's what I'm talking about. 
shot. There you oh, go. It's this glorious Paddy <laughs> Vinny sandwich. He just said, you know what, I'm not going to use the middle of the bat. And man, mate, it's showing his array of shots right now. Very good comment, as that is a play and miss. <laughs> a yes and no. I mean, I think it's more exciting when the ball bounces off an umpire for well, a run out. From, if, you're, if you're a non-cricket player, you just go, well, that's unlucky. Well, that's from my mother, so you have to agree. But well right. done to Hello, Switzerland. Julie. They deserve that win. <laughs> they were the better of the two sides. I think you and I need a break before the next one.